Hello everybody, this is going to be a, a different subject today, but welcome to uh, EC Machine and Wood Shop. Today is, the, this is going to be something a little different. I, I like watching fishing programs, I like going fishing a lot, and I do do quite a bit of it. My problem is that I see these guys on these TV shows and, and seeing these pros do the same thing. And when they take line off of their pole, off the reel, they will do this. They will take this and they'll sit and pull it like this, you know, just constantly pulling on the line like this, you know. And that just, you get a big ball of line like, like that right there. And it just, it's a mess. Then the guy will take it and throw it in the thing. A duck will come by. They'll use it. Birds will come by and they'll use it to make a nest. Or either it'll, it'll get tangled up on a bird or something else or anything. I've seen some of them stick them in their boats. But they still take it to the trash and it winds up going somewhere and getting tangled up. You know, and that just don't make sense to me. Everybody has got these laying around. These old spoons, once they're empty, you get through them. I've taken a boat, run through it. And what I do is I take my line and I'll make a little slip knot in it right here at the beginning of it. And you got these old power drills, battery operated power drills that you can buy. No little small ones that you can buy up. And, uh, you know, they're little pencil things, you know. This is it. Well, sometimes you can make an adapter for those to work. Which my son's got one of those for him because this I rigged it up for him to use. You put it on your spool of line like this, it's an empty spool, and you get your power drill like so. I know some people say, well, you're spooling it off too fast for the reel, and it may bird nest up or something. But here's a way you can stop it. Okay. Okay. Got this all set up here. As you as you sit here, and you get your line going and your drill set up. What you got going. Sometimes if you go too fast, it's bird nest. Just put your thumb on it, put a little pressure on it, and just spoon the line off. It comes off a lot quicker. And you can get off there a lot quicker off of here when you don't do and replant new line on it. It comes off a whole lot faster. And you get it off and it's on the spool. Well you keep eye on it, getting down there close. You just slow down, and there you go. There you go. See, I've already took it all off. I've gotten it all off of here, and it's tied nicely on a spool. And when you get done, a person could easily just cut it loose. And what I do is tie another big old slip knot right here on the end of this line. Tie another slip knot on the end, end line you know you, you think it's going to ravel off but if you tie another slip knot like so okay then I can take this put my slip knot around my spool and just tighten it all up nice and tight it ain't going nowhere. See, it's not going nowhere. <clears throat> now, when this spool gets full, which this is just about full, I can take it off and throw it away. And I ain't got to worry about birds coming and getting it, make a nest, or it laying in the lake somewhere, or laying somewhere. You can carry this and your boat, and this in your boat. If you have trouble with your line, 
and you want to fix it, take the line off, there's no problem fix it. You get up one of those little small power drills and you got that thing rigged up, or you can just stick it in there and just pull it off. You can do that and it's off done in a few, a few minutes and you're putting the line back on in a matter of seconds. People, rig you up something like this. Go get you a small power drill, battery operated drill, and do it. Be safe. I mean, safe to the environment, safe to animals, and keep it out of the water. How many times y'all got tangled up and you're sitting there and you got your lure all tangled up and you pull it up and it's fishing line that somebody has thrown in the water and it's got tangled up in limbs and stuff or sticks or rocks. Help everybody out and let's be safe. Let's go fishing.